Up to now, without the magma source for the latest eruption in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system, is actually sourced from the shallower magma storage or reservoir at four to five kilometer. That's Schwarzenegger volcanic uh, reservoir itself, magma reservoir. And uh, that was a theory that we thought, and it was different from what we had in the Fekudestrial, for example. And we are now finding that this is not true. We have uh, actually analyzed the uh, uh, elements in the magma from this eruption, and we found that it matches what we had, or is closely related to what we had in the Fegridesville eruption of, of the 2021, and is not similar to what we had so far in the past four eruptions of the Sununka crater chains in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system. There are two different uh, magma uh, sources for them. That means this eruption is coming from what has been left from the Fegredesvial eruption, directly coming from there at the depth of the 8 to 12 kilometers, deeper magma storage, you can see it here. So uh, this was uh, what I was saying also about the previous eruptions, when everybody, in my opinion, was wrong. Thorvald of Watson also now says that this is actually uh, the case the eruption this time is different. The source of the magma is deeper this time and is different from the past four eruptions in this same area. This is what I was saying since the 8th of May. I have a video, I will play it again for you. You will see that. During the latest eruption of the Schwarzenegger volcanic system in the Sundunka crater chain, suddenly a paper emerged with this diagram showing that the a shallow magma storage under the Swartzengi is actually contributing to this uh, eruption. The magma is coming from there. So we are now seeing that uh, many days have passed, many weeks have passed. Uh, the threshold is almost very close. We have lots of pressure building up. We have around th uh, 13 million cubic meters of magma. And we expect that any moment this magma may erupt, is under pressure, it will erupt, and it will rise to the surface. At the moment, we are seeing in the GPS data that actually the flow of the magma doesn't have any anything blocking it. And uh, this is the free flow of the magma into the seals under the crater chains. Relatively flat area to the right shows that the uplift of the land has almost a stop reach equilibrium. Anything coming in is going out. It doesn't add to the uplift. The magma doesn't add to the uplift. If it was that the, something is blocking it, we should have pressure and the magma rise in the ground. That a steep rise in the curve was visible. At the moment, we don't have that. Magma is fro freely flowing and it can erupt. Nothing is blocking it. And this is what we expect to see in the Grindelwald Rift Valley, 40 megatons of magma being available for eruption through the Cave on Crater. This is the ongoing situation, and this is not what we are seeing. We see it in the tremor chart. The magma line, the tectonic lines are all going down. This is a dying volcano. The volcano is almost barely is able to erupt any lava out, and during the day, we are only seeing the fumaroles. That's all that we can see. The theory, that diagram that presented, doesn't match the reality. This theory that the shallow magma storage of four or five kilometer depth is wrong. That magma is not sourced from there, otherwise we'd, we would have eruption. It is coming from the deeper source at uh, 12 kilometers depth. And that is where I say everybody was wrong on this.